Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Mark again, and thank you for coming back to the Swamp and Stomp YouTube channel. Now I can't believe I'm saying this, but I shot another buck this weekend. I shot my first last weekend, and I went out to the same spot, and I got another one this weekend. Now the weekend started out pretty slow because on Saturday, uh, Danny and I sat in our stands, um, and it was super windy. It was blowing probably 15, 20 miles an hour because we had that tropical storm working its way uh, along the coast. So it was super windy and I think that just had the deer laying down. Like we didn't see really any movement. Near the end of the day, Danny did have a buck come towards him. Uh, it was a shooter, but it kept its distance and we think that it winded him somehow. It got behind a bush and he kept watching and somehow it just disappeared out of there. We don't really know what happened. Uh, the next morning, I almost didn't get out of bed because, man, I was so tired. Uh, but I looked at the weather and I saw that the wind had shifted from, from the east to the west and that the wind was going to be dying down quite a bit. So it was only going to be blowing like four to seven miles an hour for the morning hunt that we were going to be hunting. So I said, you know what, we got to go because, you know, the, a lot of times uh, that's when the bucks will move, especially after it's been really windy like that. They can't hear anything, so they'll just they'll just bed down and not do anything, uh, because you know they're constantly being hunted, whether it's by us or other predators. So they want to be able to stop and listen. And if all they can hear is leaves rustling around, that makes it a really dangerous situation for them. So that's why I think they weren't moving on Saturday. But come Sunday, it was nice and calm. They could hear everything just fine. And I'm sitting in my tree stand, and I'm I'm looking out, and I see this. Uh, this deer started to come towards me through the palmettos on the other side of the pond and I got out my binoculars I got a good look at him and I knew it was this long spike. Uh, it's all main beams um, We knew that he was a legal buck. We had him on camera So he was heading towards me and I imagined he couldn't be going anywhere except for the trail that I was sitting next to so uh, I got some footage of him coming in and then uh, I got ready to take the shot. So check out this video Here's how it went down. I hope that you enjoyed that video and I do want to apologize for the quality of the video uh, since it was going to be a really rainy day the day before I didn't bring out the camera that I usually use because it's not waterproof so I, I have my GoPro mounted on my bow and that usually leads to slightly poorer uh, video quality I had to sort of crop out different sections of the video to show you what was going on and that kind of led to some grainy footage so I apologize for that but hopefully you still enjoyed uh, the video and if you did make sure that you give us a thumbs up on this video and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure that you do that now 
So next week we're going to be heading up to zone C to do a little bit of hunting up there and see if we can get something else on the ground. So stay tuned for that and in the meantime be safe, stay diligent, and good luck in the woods guys.